All right, guys, one of the most exciting days that's going to happen in the next while until I win this next Bass Smash Elite Series tournament. But we're about a month and a half behind on what we initially thought. But guess what? The official production model ace jigs are in. Everything looks perfect with them. You know, we, we wanted to put something out that was extremely high quality. We used a, you know, four-alt gamakatsu hook. I, we really took our time putting the skirts together, getting the head shape right, everything. We didn't cut any corners on this. So to finally see it all come together and look the way that I wanted it to look, it is absolutely perfect. I'm so happy with it. And today we're gonna get out here and bust us a few on it. Real quick, I'm gonna run down the setup that I'm using on. This right here is the BB Smoke um, Ace Jig from Untamed Tackle. I'm using it on a seven foot three, heavy, fast point blank rod. It's actually a heavy, extra fast, 20 pound Sunline Shooter fluorocarbon and an eight to one gear ratio Shimano reel. So that's what I'm doing. I'm up here skipping this sucker around docks. Super excited that this sucker is out now and it's time to go catch a bass on the official production one. I've not caught a fish yet on the actual production model Ace Jig. So let's do it right now. First skip ever with the official production model ace jig. It's gonna be the didn't even have to skip it. Just sling it on under there without even skipping that sucker. Make sure my drag's good and tight. 20 pound shooter. Shouldn't have no issues with it. Setting the hook as hard as I want to. So one of the things I wanted for this jig is I wanted a really compact jig that I could still set the hook with. Really hard and heavy cover, so we got a really stout four alt hook in it. So excited with the way this thing turned out, dude. I'm so excited about this. So, so far this sucker has been, been skipping. Not because of me either. This sucker's just been getting itself in there. I actually hadn't even been able to skip it because I've been casting it up in the holes without even making it touch the water. So it's been awesome so far. Just gotta get a dang bite on it and jack one with this dang thing. That's the fun part of jig fishing, getting that bite rearing down and busting their hind end for them. I'm actually surprised we have not caught one yet. I mean, it ain't been long, don't get me wrong. And as there's a huge cold front just came through, but I'm putting it in there where they live, you know what I'm saying? If you understand why I'm telling you, Got that one in here, <laughs> a little fat one. That was the obstacle course, had to get him over, wasn't it? That's the first. First production model, ace jig with a bass. Awesome, phenomenal. How about that? That one's just up under that little shallow, shallow dot with a little bit of rock underneath it. And uh, just pitched the jig up in there. As Soon as it hit the bottom, hopped it one time, he started swimming off with it, so. Not bad, chunky one. Just need to set the hook on a few more out here today. There it is, Doc. Get that reel, that reel's got yours on. That's your reel. Yeah, there's, there's a fish, hold on. Chunky spotted bass. Had him pegged too. That's a warrior right there. Mouth all jacked up right there on this side. Dorsal fin looking pretty rough. Tail looking rough. Hard to trick a old warrior bass. Hard to trick a warrior. Nice one. Skipping some docks, skipping some docks. Been pretty surprised I haven't gotten just a random bite when I'm just throwing this thing up around this riprap and stuff. Usually you can catch one or two doing that. They just really don't seem to be doing that today. But usually you can get you a 
dang lucky bite or two throughout the course of a day doing this. All right, so as you can see, we're in an entirely new hotel now, headed from hotel to hotel. We're in Knoxville. About to start practice for the second Bassmash Elite Series event on the Tennessee River. So that was the first time I ever got to fish with the Untamed Tackle Ace Jig, the new one. It is now currently up for sale on the site if you would like to pick you up one. We've got some awesome colors, been catching a bunch of fish on it, and I will have that thing on the front deck at all times. We made that jig kind of as a jig that was going to be like a 365 day a year jig what i did with it is i wanted it to be a little more compact i wanted it to have a 60 degree line tie so that it skips really well it comes over rock really well comes over wood really well but we was able to find the hook that had a 60 degree line tie but still had a really good hook gap so whenever i do get a bite i can set the hook and i still hook the fish super deep or i hook them you know down past the lips it's not like a traditional 60 degree line tie where you don't get quite as good of a gap. So Kamikatsu has some really good hooks and we was able to find one that could give us the best of everything that we wanted to do. So I was like super excited about that. And it took us a while to get the head exactly right, the skirts exactly right. Another thing we did is we left the skirts longer than I used them. So if you want to use the skirt as long as it is, you can. But I take it and I cut it off about a half inch to three quarters of an inch longer than the hook. I cut the skirts off right there. And I'll put my little trailer on like that because I do make it a pretty compact jig. But hope y'all enjoyed the video of me fishing around with the Ace. It was awesome for me. Super fun for me to get out there and actually catch some fish on it. And now, Tennessee River, going to be a little bit of a jig bite around here. Might get to throw that thing in an elite event. Even though last year I did catch a 6'11 on that jig on Gunnersville and a couple more three-pounders. I weighed in like five or six fish in Gunnersville on that jig. So I have definitely weighed in some on it before. But... This is the production perfect one. So pretty awesome. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you do want to pick the jigs up, I'll leave a link below to Untamed Tackle. And we will see y'all in the next video.